Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hard West 2. In the previous episode, we attempted to rob a train that would apparently belong to the Devil Mammon. And of course, Mammon being a devil, completely cheated us out of a victory and stole our soul. And now, in New Mexico, in July, there is a snowstorm that we need to find shelter from. Well, better get searching. Destroyed camp? You've stumbled upon the remnants of a camping site. The tents were ripped to shreds, and the fire reduced to a pile of smoking embers. So that's where the horses came from. I think you're right. Whoever camped here came a little too close to the ghost train's path. They're probably long gone. I shivered. Come on, let's keep moving. You can set up camp at any time. While at camp, you can chat with posse members to get to know them better. Alright. We set up camp and gathered around the fire. We could hear the wind howling around us like a broken, heartbroken banshee. Even our horses huddled together, closer together. Let's talk with Flynn. Flynn sat there, alone, staring at the fire. I sat beside her. For some time, I was wrestling with myself. There was something deeply wrong with me. I could feel it. How about we start by thanking her for saving her asses? You saved my ass there. Thank you. Flynn looked at me as if she knew, but how could she? You don't look good, Jin. Listen, I know you like to keep your cards close to your chest, but this thing Mammon did to you and Clive, it was serious. We need to talk about this. That's my business, kid. You really are something else, Jin. You're so goddamn blind to everything that's not under your control that you can't see shit. Look behind you, asshole. You're casting no shadow. She stoked the fire and the flames grew brighter for a moment. I turned to look behind me and it took a moment before it hit me. She was right. There was nothing where my shadow should have been. As far as the fire was concerned, it was like I wasn't even there. No one cares if you believe in a soul or not. The name doesn't matter. It's not just you. I feel strange, too. I still have a shadow, but it's looking damn ragged. Whatever Mammon did to us in the ghost train, he hurt all of us. But you, you and... and Kestrel, you got the worst of it. When it comes to shadows, you lost it all. I was rendered speechless. Let's ask about her past. Flynn is accomplice, so accomplice, companion, ally, partner, and friend. And these all require loyalty points. Okay. Chapter one. What else you want to know, Jin? I already told you I was raised in an orphanage. I escaped that and I grew up on the streets of Mornwood till I joined up with the circus that came through town. That's where you and Castrol found me. And that's it. I never knew my parents. The sisters at the orphanage told me that a lone man in tattered clothes and a haunted face left me on their doorstep. They say that was my father, and... I have a feeling that wherever these powers of mine come from, they came to me through him. So... I'll find him one day, you know? When we're all done with this, I'll find him. Something tells me we're going to get a companion quest related to that. Thanks for talking, Flynn. Alright, may as well break camp and keep looking for some better shelter. A close encounter with the ghost train had left the shack in the shambles. Half of it was missing, and what remained was barely standing. Searching the ruins would be risky. There's got to be something worthwhile around here. Five bucks is five bucks. Things we found, hunting trophies, dull skinning knives, rusty snares, suggest that the hunt belonged to a hunter, but they were useless to us. After finding a whole half-eagle coin, we gave up and decided to abandon the hut to look for better shelter. Got five dollars! Which apparently is what a half-eagle coin is worth. There's some stuff down there, but I don't think we can reach it right now. We could all use some hot coffee. The abandoned farm, perhaps? building offered little shelter, but we've managed to start a small fire. It was better than nothing. 
Suddenly we heard a muffled thump coming from a low mound sitting under a cockeyed cross. Right beside the broken fence. The sky was dark, but the snow gave the night enough of a glow that we could see we were alone out there. We stood above the restless grave. Thump. 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 Flynn looked at me. Jin, I want you to think very carefully about what you're about to do now. Let's check it out carefully. It's fake, girl. Come on. Why would you even be able to? Would you even be able to sleep tonight if we didn't dig up whatever the hell this is? We just need to be careful. I'd sleep perfectly well. I hate you, Jin Carter. We searched the farm. Once we found a pair of shovels, we started digging. We were at it for half an hour or so when the thumping intensified. Then, just as we unearthed the lid of a crude pine coffin, it stopped. Hello. Pale fist punched through, punched a hole through the coffin's lid. Splinters flew around us, and the stench of a stale tomb billowed into the air. We recoiled, drew our guns, and leveled them at the hand. What in tarnation! More loud cracks and grunts broke the wintry silence, and soon a man rose from the grave. His skin pale and sickly, his clothes covered in dust. The dead Why? man. Why? Am I here? The dead man what halted. What did you do? The dead man hauled himself out of his grave. His mouth creaked open and a dry cough produced a small cloud of dust. Then he raised a finger at us and spoke with a voice like a rusty nail scraping bone. When? You'd better watch where you're pointing that rotten finger. We helped you, jackass. We dug you up. The undead thing grunted and trudged toward the house. We decided to follow. Inside, the stranger inspected every room, nook, and cranny. He grunted and coughed his way through the place, his methodical movements betraying a peculiar strength and purpose. He towered above us, and yet we still couldn't see his eyes when he finally turned toward us again. Guns! I need guns! Who are you? Back in my breathing days, folks called me Old Man Bill. I've seen everything. Done everything the West has to offer. I've been an outlaw, a thief, a sheriff, a bounty hunter, hell, even an exorcist for a while. And now I'm... this. Whatever this is. What just happened? One day, I just woke up in that pine box buried in my yard. At first I thought I'd been dreaming. I remembered this vision of a train of death, driven by the devil himself, and chugging its way straight to hell. When he spotted me, he started to laugh. Laughed so hard, he woke me up. When I realized I was trapped, I started hitting on the coffin's lid, trying to break free. It didn't hurt none, and being already dead, I wasn't afraid of dying. I just knew I needed to get free. I don't know how long I was down there. An hour, a day, a week. Next thing I remember was the sounds of shovels. You digging. Then I broke through. What are you after? I'm gonna get some guns. I'm gonna track down the devil who woke me up. I'm gonna get him good. Then I'm gonna lay me back down. Okay, then. Listen, we know that devil of yours, and he's one tough son of a bitch. Name's Mammon, and he's done us wrong, too. If you're gunning for him, I reckon we should maybe ride together, at least for a few days. You got yourself a deal. For now. Mister? Jane Carter. This here's Flynn. Whatever you say, kids, call me Bill. Look, years ago, I stashed some equipment in an old hunting shack east of here. Let's wait out the blizzard and see if my stuff's still there. Well, luckily, we got one more horse for you. Let's go. While exploring game world, you'll often find side quests that can provide additional loot. Okay. Let's talk with Bill. We were both curious about our new, freshly resurrected friend. Are 
you out of your goddamn mind? We don't even know what is he. When it, shouldn't it be what he is? But before I could ask any questions, Flynn pulled me away from the Revenant. We're in the middle of nowhere, and we might be facing a go off against the devil himself soon. We already lost good men. So yes, I feel like joining forces with a gritty veteran who can't die is a mighty fine notion. With talents like yours, it ain't like you got a right to complain about others hauling around that kind of strangeness. Flynn cursed, but she let me go. So, tell me again about your life. Back in my breathing days, folks called me Old Man Bill. I've seen everything. Done everything the West has to offer. I've been an outlaw, a thief, a sheriff, a bounty hunter, hell, even an exorcist for a while. And now I'm... this. Whatever this is. How did you die? After I retired. I lived on this here farm with my wife and my son. For the longest period of my life, I found peace. But it didn't last. One day, an old enemy of mine showed up at my door, determined to cross me off his list of debts to be paid. I killed seven of his men before the last three wrestled me down and held me tight. Then he drew his gun and put me down like a dog. Jesus, it must have been years. One day, I just woke up in that pine box buried in my yard. At first, I thought I'd been dreaming. I remembered this vision of yeah, a train. Yeah, Flynn has question. Go on, Flynn. I bet he doesn't mind. So, are you really dead? I'm afraid so, miss. I got no pulse. I don't need to breathe. My insides have rotted away. I'm little more than dust and bone. And yet, I feel this strange power in me. I don't feel the pains from growing old anymore. I don't feel much at all. Everything seems gray, and the world tastes like ashes. Yet here I am. I linger on. All right, let's ask about his past. But we only get... Well, because he's only an accomplice. I ain't proud of my past, Carter. I roamed around the whole hard west like my boots were always itching to move. Never settled down. At least not till that farm at the end. It's a hell of a tale. But I need to think some about how I want to tell it. In my outlaw days, I ran with this gang called the Cardinals. Oh, bloodiest damn gang in the hard west. I was young and stupid and just fucking despicable. And I loved every minute of it. <laughs> to hold a gun on someone and know you have their life on the tip of your fingers. It's exhilarating. Hmm. Well, it's not like we're saints. Thanks, Bill. That'll be all. Alright, may as well head up the ruined cabin, see what we can get. Kinda wish I could move a little quicker, but oh well. So, what are we poking around here? Uh, round four here? Guns. Beneath the floorboards, I think. Plus some whiskey stashed in the cellar. And dynamite? Yes! Tucked up under the roof. That's a damn mess. Get anything out of here without bringing it down on our heads will be one hell of a feat. Mm. Girl's right. I'll grab the guns first, and then... Any preferences? Let's see... Three times whiskey. Fine bottle of alcohol grants liquid courage, gives drunk status, and also heals some HP. Character is unable to perform a bullseye shot. Character adds plus... adds four max HP. But I'm guessing that's temporary. Or we go for the dynamite. This common explosive material deals damage to everything in the blast radius. Screw it. Grab us some of those sticks, Bill. We also get a wild buffalo rifle. Not bad. And a coach gun. Dynamite always comes in handy. Grab us some of those sticks, Bill. 
While we stood safely outside the shack, our new ended pal was rum uh, went rummaging through the debris. The place creaked and moaned in protest. It wasn't going to hold up much longer. Just as Flint predicted, the busted-down hut collapsed, bearing Bill beneath piles of broken timber. We stood there and gaped at the ruins, shocked that we'd lost the old man so sudden like that. Just as I was opening my mouth to say a few words over his new grave, that tough son of a gun crawled up from the wreck like it was nothing. He handed us the loot with a scowl. Goddamn termites. Pretty slick, old man. I thought you were done for. Bill didn't say a word, just gave me a nod as we mounted up and rode off. You found loot for the first time. Open inventory by clicking its icon at the top right of the screen. You can assign acquired loot to any character. Remember to experiment with different posse loadouts anytime you get something new. Okay, so Jane's got his dirty copper. Alright, I've also got the duck foot. Which I guess acts as a pist- or is a pistol, but acts as... A shotgun? Yeah, it's consumable. So I gotta be careful with that. Let's see, she's also got dirty copper. He's got a dirty copper. This is Dead Man's Revenge. Requires at least a pair. Right, cards, which we don't have access to yet. Bill deals damage to every enemy in his line of sight. The damage increases by one for every four HP that Bill has lost. Okay. Traits, horseback riding, and pistol arrow. Also some damage while using handguns. Okay, Shadow Swap. Shadow Barrage. Huh. Alright, well seeing as how he's a pistol arrow, I'm gonna keep him with the pistol. I'll probably put the coach gun on Flynn and the rifle on Jin for now. And he's already got some dynamite, so I think I'll give the other one to Jin. Not sure about the duck. Actually, you know what? I'll just give the duck foot to the old man. Alright, we can also check out this red cross while we're here. Suddenly, we've stumbled upon a scene so gruesome, so irrational, that even I curse silently. Looking down, we could see a patch of blood-soaked snow surrounded by a flimsy cross. Someone nailed a naked man to it, then left him to die in the cold. I got off my horse and took a step closer. Flynn didn't follow. Be careful. Let's examine the scene. This man had been dead for days, left out in the weather. Animals had gotten to him, leaving behind only a scrawny skeletal shape with a mess of dried guts spilled between his legs. Look for anything useful? Ignoring the stench, I kicked the snow and guts around the corpse in search of anything useful. I noticed something stuck inside the corpse's chest cavity. Could it be? Playing cards? Suddenly the corpse jerked up, twisted its neck and snapped its teeth at my face. Sha, sha, less. Lynn, any ideas? I pulled back immediately. Flynn, have you ever seen anything like that? Mm -hmm. The undead thing kept thrashing about, hoping to attack us, but the nails on the ropes had held tight. Did he just say mammon? Anyway, this light... The light in his eyes. It does remind me of the ghost train. I don't know. Got off his head or something. I don't want to look at it. Without the head... Without the head, the undead was now less lively. Now it was a simple matter of courage. Alright, so we get the King of Spades, King of Diamonds, and Queen of Clubs no matter what. Let's see, Nine of Spades, Bullseye Chance plus one, Max Luck plus thirteen, Speed plus four. Uh, shoot, who has the most amount of life? Let's see, twenty-two, sixteen, eighteen... Go on, Bill. Get the cards. As he reached between the ribs, the headless corpse jerked and I saw its sharp broken bones jab his hand. At least he managed to get a hold of the cards. Mm. Lively, damn bugger. You unlock new cards! Yep. 
By adding cards to a character's hand, you can improve their statistics. For example, select Jin and put the King of Diamonds in his hand to increase his luck. And let's see. Speed. Determine how far a character can move. 12, 18, 16. Okay, the old man needs more speed. Yeah, sure, let's give the King of Diamonds to him. And... 0% chance to bullseye. They've all got a 0% chance to bullseye, so just for the sake of fairness, let's give her this. Train station. As we came closer to the train station, we saw a single train standing on the side on a side track, and a sad round man with his hands in his pockets standing on the wooden platform. You're new, huh? Got in right before the avalanche? What avalanche? Eastern Pass is blocked. No trains, no roads, nothing. We're trapped here in this damn valley. What's happening in town? Um Damn Richie's playing sheriff again. I heard they found them a wanted man. A native. They're gonna hang him today. I think I got a good idea who that is. A native? Could it be Deer? Big guy wearing an army jacket? Don't know. Never wanted to have anything to do with this. Alright, we're off. Adios. Alright, guess we're headed to the boom town. It's a small town, probably set up in the last decade or so. Rail tracks end at a, near, at a station near the te by the town. A hanging scaffold has been built at the town square. Townsfolk are hardened by years of living at the very frontier of Hard West. We look down That's at Boom. Deer. Shit, they beat him good. Let's see. We heard a hubbub as we drew closer. The townsfolk have gathered in a small square to watch a lone bloodied man standing in the gallows. It was laughing, dear. We're breaking them out. And, uh, of course, this means we're going into combat. Let's see. Main objectives. Kill Sheriff Kit Ritchie and all his men. Or henchmen. Reward. We get $20 and the Widowmaker. Ooh. Let's see. Get Laughing Deer's equipment as a side objective. We get Coyote Tooth Necklace. Bullseye Chance plus 15. Not bad. But apparently it only works with melee weapons. Kill all the enemies on the square in the first round. Dynamite. Okay, not gonna be easy. See, so getting the loads of your companions ain't gonna be easy, but we'll reward you with unique traits and dialogue options. Oh, interesting. Well, I'll see you guys on the other side of this loading screen. That's enough. We'll be taking that gentleman with us now. Thank you. Look at what crawled out from under the snow, guys. Another lost soul in Boomtown. Pleasure's all mine, Sheriff. See, this friend of yours is wanted in at least four states for murdering some big, fat, and famous chief. Did you know about this? I don't care. He's mine. Give him back, now. You heard that, jackass boys? Did that sound like a threat to you? It sure did sound like a threat to me. Do we have time for this? I'm asking you one last time. Say pretty, please. Flynn? On it, boss. <laughs> Witchcraft! Shoot them! Kill them all! Each posse member has a unique skill that can shoot bullets. Uh, Jin can shoot bullets that pass through cover and walls. Well, we call this skill the Shadow Barrage. Shoot. Wow, we're still in tutorial round. Yikes. Shadow Barrage, yep. Better Choose watch and learn, kids. And obviously, I'm not going to shoot old Bill. 
Get these guys, kill one of them. Roll the dice, gentlemen. Gets me some bravado. Shadow Swap. Flynn's Shadow Swap allows her to change places with foes and allies. This unstable witchcraft does a small amount of damage to her and her target. Looking for trouble? Choose Shadow Swap. Skill from Bong, yeah, Let's pick a target. Mix it up a bit, shall we? Okay, well, if I knew that this was going to be the case, I'd have given her the rifle. But alright. It's just the beginning. More skills will unlock as you progress through Hard West 2. Right now, though, you know everything you need to massacre those bastards in town. Okay, kill all the enemies in the square on the first round. Okay, let's see. Don't think I'm going to be able to get Sheriff Richie. Alright, I come down he No, wait, she's only got one AP left. Okay, shoot the rifleman. Easy now. Keep it steady, girl. Let's see. Old man Bill. Hmm, I can only kill this guy at that point. I may as well just use regular pistol. Of a living. All right, laughing deer. You can take this one out. <laughs> It'll take three to get to him, and it won't kill him. Ready when you are. See the dynamite won't kill. And unfortunately, Sheriff Richie is just shy of getting killed. Let's see, I still got a turn cooldown for. Let's dance. Get in the upper Shadow hand. Barrage. Hmm. So I can't use Old Man Bill's ability. See, I'll take three to get to him. Like I said, if I had known to me. Flynn was going to be sent up top this. via tutorial, I probably would have stuck her with the rifle so she'd have better range. You're in for a ride. least I can hit him. Get over here with old man Bill. Use the duck foot to blast Sheriff Richie and this guy. Been a long time since I felt that rush. Alright, he's crippled. Running out of time on this, but I should still be good. Switch back to the pistol. Move over here. Shoot Sheriff Richie. Going in, guns blazing. Twas a bad call, Richie. Let's see. 
Unfortunately, Laughing Deer can't get to his equipment in this turn. Done and done. Okay, Jin. Shoot the gunman with your rifle. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. Yeah, Flint can't reach it either. Oh, weapons on cooldown. Okay, well that's fine. Oh goddamn! Oh yeah. Now, oh, there's more guys. Okay, so I still got time to get Laughing Deer's equipment. We are, however, out of time for this episode. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, let me take a look at how many guys are <clears throat> going to be coming for us. Seems like I can't get any more dead. Let's see about you. Okay, another one. Okay, so... Need someone dead. How many guys are there? One, two, three, four... You know what? I'm gonna keep this going a little bit longer just so we have some action. I will. All right, where's your stuff? Oh, lower floor. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Looking for trouble? Yeah, Got to use it on a rifleman, though. Leave it to me. Ooh. Is that a rifleman? Yep, that counts. I'll fuck you up, assholes. Well, now I'm starting to think I shouldn't be pushing my luck. Time thing. Smart. Yeah. That's screw it. Death isn't that bad. Dang it. What's Jen short for? My fucking temper. That's what. Hey? Well, that doesn't make much sense. Oh, that's using his luck. Let's dance. Get in the upper hand. Okay, that guy's taken care of and thus no longer a threat to us. Whoa, hold your horses. Can't do, amigo. Okay, how about off of this? Range. No you. way. Can't do, amigo. Oof. Only 25% chance to hit. And even with luck. 
and only raises it to 50. I think I'm better off I'm gonna keep doing that a lot, aren't I? Just getting them into cover and heads down. Bill, you do the same. I'm still here. All right. First of all, turn off the lock. All right, that takes care of that. Easy. Take him out. Got him. Want to see me get real angry? Eh, uh, no, not a good idea to swap with him. I got this one. View, out of view, out of view. Dang. How about now? Nope, still out of view. I'll try. And at the very least, I can shoot these guys and weaken him. That's probably meant for creating more cover. And why not? Yeah? Laughing deer! Well, you got plenty of speed, so let's get you moved in. Can't do much else. What's the play? No valid targets. Got him now. Stick him, boys. Okay, a lot more Damn guys here pig. than I was expecting. Oh. How long is this video going on for? 38 minutes. Oof. If we didn't have all that stuff at the beginning, I might have said that we could pull this off. But not really. And I'm extra glad that I didn't shadow swap with her now. Can I save in the middle of, uh... Yes, I can. Alright, so this mission's gonna be going on a little longer than I expected it to, so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to end things off there for today. Because I just don't have enough time. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.